maybe you think that the attack upon the students at Virginia Tech was the worst instance of school violence in U.S. history. But if you think that, you would be wrong. Twenties, Flappers, Art Deco, Speakeasies, Felix the Cat. Our country's worst school violence took place at the Bath Consolidated School in the state of Michigan in 1927. That's when 38 children between 2nd grade and 6th grade lost their lives, and 7 adults, including the attacker. Many families lost multiple members. Another 58 people were injured. The attacker was Andrew Kehoe, a 55-year-old member of the school board. This is how he appeared in newspapers at the time of the attack. I'm about to show you may be the only surviving photograph of Andrew Kehoe. Here is what he really looked like. Before the attack, Kehoe suffered a number of personal setbacks. His wife was ill with tuberculosis. He voted against the construction of the new school wing, but the measure passed, which now raised his taxes. One year before the attack, in 1926, he ran for the office of Bath Town Clerk. He lost. Finally, he learned that the mortgage on his farm was being foreclosed. In hindsight, some speculated that if he had sold his livestock and all his farming equipment, he could have kept the farm. Kehoe decided on a different solution to his problems. Using his school board position as cover, over the course of the next year, Kehoe smuggled about 1,000 pounds of dynamite and other explosives onto school grounds and planted it in the basement of the school. 500 pounds under the north wing and 500 pounds under the south wing. Andrew Kehoe's wait was over. On the beautiful spring morning of May the 18th, on his own farm, Andrew Kehoe detonated a series of explosive devices that completely destroyed the house and all the other farm buildings on his homestead by the resulting fires. Then he got into his truck and drove towards the school. The bath school had just started classes for the day. At the Bath School, at 8.45 a.m., at the same time that Kehoe was destroying his own farm, simultaneously, the north wing of the school exploded. Another explosive timing device, beneath the south wing of the school, failed. That is how the authorities were later able to recover 
half of the planted explosives. 30 minutes after the North Wing exploded, Kiho arrived at the school. He parked his truck near the site of the bombing. And he was sitting in his truck. His truck was full of explosives mixed with metal shrapnel. He was talking with the school superintendent, Emery Huck. Huck had one foot up on the running board of Kehoe's truck. At this point, Kehoe detonated his last bomb, the truck itself. According to a recent joint publication by the U.S. Department of Education and the U.S. Department of Justice, in spite of two decades of school shootings in the United States, schools have actually gotten more safe for children. The percentage of kids who are afraid of being harmed at school decreased. So has the number of students carrying weapons and the number of kids who have actually been victims of crime at school has decreased by 71%. I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out 